how would you like to unleash your untapped psychic abilities and learn to do intuitive medical diagnosis in the next 10 minutes? That's the plan for this 13th video in a series from my monthly blog at LetMagicHappen.com. I'm Dr. Larry Burke, author of Let Magic Happen, Adventures in Healing with a Holistic Radiologist. And in Chapter 5, you'll find many interesting stories of talented medical intuitives like Carolyn Mace, uh, one of those intuitives, Winter Robinson, uh, taught me this relatively simple technique at the Society for Medical Decision Making meeting in 1993. Picture Winter with a willowy figure, long dark hair, and dangling dolphin earrings, uh, teaching to a group of very left-brained medical scientists, epidemiologists, and statisticians. Uh, her husband playing relaxing New Age music in the background, and this group of adventurous and souls has ag agreed to set aside their left brain skills for an afternoon to see what their right brain might have to offer them. Uh, to facilitate this process, Winter led us through some relaxation techniques, uh, and we'll start uh, by doing that now and taking in a deep breath of intuitive wisdom, whatever color you associate with that. And letting go of any skepticism you have, give that a color and have that go out through your feet. Deep breath in of intuitive wisdom again. Letting go of anything you want to get rid of. One more time. Deep breath in. And then let go of any issues you want to let go of. Now ask your partner to give you some identifying information on a target patient. And the simpler the diagnosis for that patient, the better. Usually you give the name, age, and location of the patient, or you can just use the first name or initials or whatever you want to keep maintain confidentiality if you like. Uh, then you're going to be using a temporary process to access information about that patient by taking on information into your body. It could be images, feelings, sensations, thoughts or words that, that come spontaneously. Using those to make a diagnosis and then letting those go again out of your body at the end of the process. You're going to be using the metaphor of going through an intuitive scanner of some sort that looks something like a CT scanner, where you go through from your head to your toes, and as you pass through each level, tuning in to see what you pick up, and assuming that whatever you feel or sense is what the patient has. So having said that, we're going to now step into the scanner lay down, allow your head to start to pass into the scanner, and take the very first thing that pops into your head. Picture, image, feeling, sensation. Allow that to arise. Consider what that might actually represent in the patient. Tell your partner what the information is or record it on a recorder. And then move down to the next level, which is the neck, and see what comes up there. Move down to the shoulders, chest, and arms. And notice what happens there. Then move down to your upper abdomen. Tune in to that area of the body. Get a feel for what's going on in the patient. Move down to your lower abdomen and do the same process again.
arrive finally down at the pelvis. Again, tune into that area and notice what you detect. Finally move down through the legs into the feet. And note anything that you pick up along the way. Once you've gotten through the entire body, you can make note of whatever you found during that scanning process. And then as a second option, to use a slightly more right-brained approach, we're going to go through the body one more time and this time tune into the different chakras or energy centers as we go. So start up at the head again, and this time rather than looking for anatomy, or physical disease, we're going to look up for energy imbalance or color differences in the, in the chakras. So starting with the crown chakra, the violet color, tune into that and notice anything you sense in that area. Then move down to the indigo brow chakra, check in with any feelings you get there, or any sense of energy or color. Move down to the blue throat chakra. Same process as we scan through the different levels. Then to the green heart chakra, tuning in to anything in this region. Finally, Moving down into the abdomen, we're going to do the solar plexus, yellow chakra. Down into the lower abdomen, the lumbar plexus, orange chakra. And finally down to the bottom of the pelvis to the red root chakra. And see if you can discern which of the chakras is the most out of balance for your target patient. And once you've done that, compare it to what you got from, with the more anatomic scanner approach and see or feel there's any correlation between the two approaches and start to consider what the leading diagnostic possibilities are. And once you've started that process, you can also start letting go of the patient's energy and the target patient. So let it flow down through your feedback, return it back to the earth, return it back to the patient with, with a blessing for their uh, potential healing. Then, once you've let go of all that energy, you want to become more grounded, so make sure your feet are solidly on the ground. You can get up and jump around if you like, or just shake off whatever energy you want to let go of. Take one more deep breath of intuitive wisdom that you can use to process this information and let go of anything that uh, you want to uh, allow to pass back into the earth or to the patient. And having done that, now compare with your partner what they know about the patient with what you got through the intuitive process. See if there's any correlations. Uh, figure out if you got close with either of the methods. And then if you got some information that seem very striking to you, but the, your, your partner knows nothing about in terms of uh, the patient having something like that, uh, they then have the option of cautiously deciding whether to check with the target patient or not, depending on how well they know them and what relationship they have with them. Because uh, occasionally you'll pick up things that aren't known already 
to be medically diagnosed and then they turn out to be true. Uh, or maybe just something that your partner didn't, wasn't aware of, that actually the patient was very aware of. So those are some of the options as to how this might work out. The results we got at the Society for Medical Decision Making were quite interesting and if you want to find out more about that you can read chapter 5 uh, which is called Diagnosis from a Distance in uh, my book which you can find information about at letmagichappen.com. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed learning a new intuitive technique and the key to success with any process like this is practice. Practice and get feedback as to whether your results are accurate or not. That said, <clears throat> let magic happen. Thanks.